welcome to my living room. I want to give you a tour of this area because this is a living room, dining room, kitchen and I'm going to show you around everything. So first when you walk in, this is the living room. Let me show you what's here first because this is my baby mirror. This has come with me through multiple different apartments. It's a giant floor mirror. It's absolutely huge and it's honestly one of the best things ever because you can see so much. It really opens up the room. Behind it, I store my little scooter, which is how I get around now, you know. <laughs> then we come around here. This is the actual living room area. So first of all, I think we'll start on this side. In this corner is a lamp, and I personally don't think this lamp goes in this space. It was from an old flat, but I'm just making it work for now. Ideally, I'd get something a bit less modern. I think in my previous flat I had a bit more of a modern style and it doesn't really go with my style now. Then we have my sofa. This is from sofa.com. I chose a dark blue velvet sofa. All my sofas in my life have ever been velvet and a dark colour and I just didn't want to stray this time. I had a dark green one in my last flat. Um, the one thing I will say about velvet sofas is that you can see all the lighter hairs. So if you have a dog, I mean my dog doesn't even shed but yeah, I can still see all the lighter hairs. These pillows, I love, they're from Andrew Martin. They're the Andrew Martin, Sophie Patterson collaboration. And I wanted a bit more of a lighter, area pillow because it is such a dark couch. And um, I chose four different ones. They are really big. So when I sit on the sofa, I really like snuggle on in here. And I, I feel like I'm just like being cuddled by these pillows. They're so beautiful. And they're really snuggly. I like how they brighten up the space, I think. I think they just sort of open up this darker corner of the room. And then if we go around onto here, we have my bookshelf. This is bookshelf number one. I am so disorganized when it comes to bookshelves. I mean, you can see that I still don't have pictures in that frame, but I do have prints coming. They are on the way and they're so beautiful. When they come, I'll show them to you because they're like a special variation on some of my favorite pictures and by an artist so I'll show you that but these are some of my favorite things I mean I have snow globes on here they're so fun I, I just keep loads of really nice sweet gorgeous things I mean H&M Home do some great pieces I'll link anything I can link I'll link down below but these little vases they're sort of more decorative they're from H&M and then this is actually like a Diet Coke Coke collection I don't really even drink Coke that much, but I love the collectible versions. This is one from literally when I was like 16. This is a Matthew Williamson one. It doesn't even have Coke in it anymore, but the lid is sealed. It's just kind of all evaporated. It's a bit weird, um, but this one still has, I can hear it. This one hasn't evaporated fully yet. Little things like that. This is gorgeous. You guys always ask me about this. This is a little pearl box. You know what, I keep it in here. The glam, the glitter, who's ready? Oh, there's only one roll left, but poop bags. Poop bags. Oh, it smells of like dog poop bags in here now, but that's just like my glam way of keeping my poop bags. Here's my fireplace. This is one of my favorite parts. I love having a fireplace. I have always, always, always had a fireplace, even if I don't use it, even if it's just decorative. Um, I've kind of decorated this with some Fornicetti candles. I have some tiny little mini Dior candles I got on my advent calendar. And then I have more candles at the bottom, which are um, diptyque giant ones. In the middle of this room, I have my coffee table. Now this coffee table, I think is slightly too big for the space. However, I really wanted a glass coffee table. I don't really like poofs. I love something I can store books. I love something I can see down from above. So I kind of make it work with this coffee table really. And I literally just keep all books on here. These from Ocker, amazing, these little trays. I have so many of these gorgeous little trays around my house. And then I have a couple of like H&M home bits, like this tortoise, he has a little lid. Maybe I should put my poop bags in here really, but <laughs> he's really sweet, I love him. And this rug underneath would be one of my highly, highly recommended rugs. This is from um, Lux Deco and it's the putty rug. And it is amazing because what I hate about rugs is how you can see footprints on them sometimes. I hate seeing that. I like rugs that just look neat all the time. And this is a great color. I think it really sort of opens up the space and the dark, the dark wood on the floor and Duke seems to like it as well. And then over here we have 
my little chairs. These are also from sofa.com. You can go to the um, showroom and you can get all your swatches or you can order them online. And so I did that in the showroom and I paired everything together. And I really like this. This I think is called the Cambridge Blue. It's so beautiful and it's like a linen fabric. And then these pillows are from Rachel Wyndham. Um, she's a great designer in North London and um, they're really beautiful. I originally put them on my bed, but I thought they actually look better here. And they're sort of this like light glitter tweed, which I really like. It's very like Chanel vibes. And yeah, this is my other bookshelf. This is my preferred bookshelf actually, if I had to tell you. I mean, I have so many great books on here and so many fun little things. I mean, these people ask me about all the time. They're so fun little ornaments. I love decorating bookshelves. Um, this one I, d I still don't think is finished. It's like really bothering me, but that's what it is. And I have another print going in here and I have candles and things like that. In here is where I keep all my like flowers and like sort of dry food and things like that that I don't use on an everyday basis that just gets shoved in there and like sweety things so I don't reach for them all the time apart from chocolate obviously. Around here is my kitchen dining room now the first thing is my favorite thing because these cupboards light up and they're so gorgeous so I feel like I can see everything inside them I mean if I sneak around here I can show you they just kind of make everything look so much more beautiful I think and the lights kind of hidden by the side and I have in here my Belle Hartley plate mats these are amazing these ones are my favorite the celestial ones they're so beautiful there's so many of these all here then what else do I have cups 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 a nice little urn thing is that called an urn I think it's called them. Anyway, so oh, these, my little mini teapots, but I actually wouldn't recommend these, they're very, not very sturdy. Then, oh, down here, so this is my dining table. I like to host a lot. I know none of us are hosting right now. I do like to host a lot. And pre-lockdown, even though I was only here for a couple of months, I think I had like seven or eight or nine dinner parties. I do manage to get eight around this table, a tiny bit of a squish. But it's great. I love it. On this table I have my Burley bars. Now, ooh, this is a bit dead and drying, this little guy. Um, a lot of my crockery is Burley. I'll show you. And it's one of my favourites. So I have that in my vase. I mean, it's a jug, but I use it as a vase. Then I have my fruit bowl, my giant fruit bowl, full of current season Alfonso mangoes. This is like, a, 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 if you know, you know. Any other Indian... Gals will feel me on the Alfonso mango thing. And then I have another mini fruit bowl. The fruit is just so good right now. Um, and this is also from Burley. It's a purple. I think this is called Regal Pheasant, this collection. Anyway, I'm gonna just scooch my way over here. My other cupboard. I'll show you what's in here. This is again Burley. I think this is India Jane. This is Spode. I have a very, very, um, I think, like a set theme in my crockery. I really like detail. This I actually got in Positano. It's so beautiful. Um, this was literally made on the Amalfi Coast. And I have my little milk cow that I love. So I'll show you down here because in here is where I keep all my crockery. Um, in terms of, oh look, we have a nice, <laughs> guilty, little half eaten, more than half eaten, pack of um, popcorn. This is a great one. Oh, and this one. Oh, and this one. So we put those there. Um, I literally have, I mean, it's not very well organized, but I literally have all my burly in here, all different bowls and plates and everything. And there are so many different collections that you can sort of mix and match everything, which I really like doing. I have all the different colors in the different collections. Put all my popcorn back in there. Over here, above the radiator, we have my little aztec vase. She's been full of flowers the whole of lockdown. It's literally just this week she hasn't had flowers and she doesn't fit anywhere else. So I keep her here. Got the essentials, the Aperol, the rose, and this beautiful, beautiful little guy. Well, I kind of wish it was a bit smaller. Um, it's from Graham and Green. They always sell out of them. Um, and it's just these little butterflies in a jar. I think it does need to be a bit smaller though, by the way. And then this is from my Dior Advent calendar. Got my pink bin down there. This is my green kitchen. I was recently looking at colors and then lockdown happened. Um, but right now it's kind of brightening my mood. This is my fridge. 
Not very neat, not very organized. This is my freezer. Basically the only thing I keep in my freezer is ice cream and dog food, you know? Um, right, on this surface, let me jump up. Okay, we have some tablets and things I take from Viva Mea. This is actually a really useful little tin. Um, it came with some biscuitiers when I moved in and I keep random bits and bobs in there. Got my dog food, dog treats. I mean, do you wanna see something fun? Look alive for the video. Do you want a treat? He normally, normally he comes running today he's half asleep, don't he? All right, sit down. Down. Good boy, stay. Here you go. Off you go. Bye. Oh my God, you literally just swallowed that whole thing whole. No wonder you cough all the time. Right. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> These two I love. These are again from Burley and I keep utensils in this one. I probably should have got another utensil one, but instead I got one that says tea. I think they look really sweet together. And I have a matching little bowl here. These are actually just dead heads from flowers that I've had in my house over the past month or two and I sometimes put them in my bath. I just like having them out, to be honest. Kitchen roll. These are great. This is from Le Creuset. Little salt and pepper, pink little guys. I love these tiles. I think they're so sweet with the, all the little animals crawling around your kitchen. They're truly like ladybirds, butterflies, bees. Around here is where I store the essentials. We have chocolate, nuts, almond butter, mugs, sweet syrups, you know, you know how it goes. I probably should be one of those people that have everything in like jars. This is great. I would recommend everyone has one in their kitchen. You know when you're stirring stuff around and then you put stuff down and then it makes a mark? Put it on here. It's great. My little snag, um, what is this called? It boils water. A kettle! Boom! Ten stars for you. This is hands down the best thing I could recommend someone to invest in their kitchen. It's Thermomix. It boils, it steams, it cuts, it chops, it weighs. It does like 12 kitchen appliances in one. This is the only kitchen appliance I have in my kitchen. So I don't have a blender or a juicer or anything. I mean, it doesn't juice, but I don't drink juice anyway. Side point. Um, anyway, it's just amazing. It weighs, I make all my cakes and stuff in it. it blends everything, the chopper is very intense. It's so fabulous. It's quite big and chunky, but what are you gonna do? Then this is where I have my sink. Um, oh, this is a great brand actually, Bayless and Harding. It's really affordable. I get it from um, Ricardo actually. Here is where I keep all my sauces and spices. Now I do always try and narrow this down a little bit, but I just love making things taste better. I mean, we have za'atar, we have sesame seeds, we have teriyaki sauce, soy sauce, toasted sesame oil, flax seeds, balsamic vinegar, honey, every single spice, I'm obsessed. So I always try and narrow this down and then it, it just grows. Sometimes it grows onto the sink, literally. Last but not least are my dog bowls that I get the most questions about. And Duke's food is just like, everywhere, not just in the dog bowl, it drives me insane. They're from India Jane, I bought them quite a while ago, so if I can find similar, I'll link to them, because as soon as I bought them, I think they sold out, and that was like a couple of years ago, I've had them for quite a while now. And that is everything from my kitchen, living room, dining room, tour. I hope you enjoyed this, please remember to subscribe, I upload twice a week, so I will see you back here on Wednesday, Mwah. bye! Okay, let's make it look nice. Like I don't just sit on the sofa every night. Cool. Okay. Well, I've got the best pop on. That's all there. Welcome to my kitchen. Can I make you a snack? Teapot, teapot, little teapot. Here we have the rose, my sweet baby.